Prince Harry is unlikely to meet King Charles this week as the company is still sour. King Charles III's diary is so full it will be impossible for him to meet Harry this week at memorial events marking the one-year anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death, a royal spokesman has claimed. As Prince Harry joins millions of people across the country to mark the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death, they will not have the chance to meet King Charles III. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. It was hoped that Harry, who will return to the UK for the event, will be able to speak to Charles and the rest of his family during the visit. However, Paul Burrell, a close friend of Princess Diana, claimed it was impossible for the two to be reunited because the diaries did not allow it. The added strain that Harry has created within the Buckingham Palace hierarchy means that any last-minute reunion opportunities have also been lost. Burrell said they were not interested in a settlement while the family is still upset and still hurt by the damning claims he made against the company in his memoir with Meghan, and the Netflix documentary series. Prince Harry is traveling to Europe for a few days during the Queen's Jubilee. During his visit, he will stop in the UK around 24 hours before the anniversary, returning on Thursday night for the Well Child Awards and the opening of the latest Invictus Games in Germany. Despite being close to the family, Mr. Burrell does not think King Charles III will be able to meet his youngest son, even though he will be at home. I don't think there will be a meeting, Burrell, a close ally of Harry's mother Diana, told the Mirror. The talks were whispered at Prince Philip's funeral. Platinum Jubilee was busy. They whispered at the Queen's funeral. They are whispering now. That will not happen. He noted that Charles is also preparing for a state visit to France later this month, which will again take up much of the monarch's time. He added, the royal diary will be very full. It won't be possible to meet any of the family when Harry arrives. Because you know what royals do. They rally in solidarity and pull the drawbridge. And Harry didn't want to see them. He wanted to do his thing and leave, just like at his grandmother's funeral. Burrell added that Harry knew the rules and would not try to meet family members without an official invitation. Many members of the royal family will join the country to celebrate Her Majesty's Jubilee, with the party gathering at Balmoral Palace, where the Queen died. Meanwhile, the Cabinet Office has confirmed it is working on a permanent memorial and national heritage scheme to honour the Queen. The Queen Elizabeth Memorial Committee will consider the proposals, which are expected to be made public in 2026, when the former Queen's centenary will be celebrated. The Queen's former private secretary, Lord Robin Young Flynn, has been appointed to chair the committee. He said, I am honoured to be invited to chair the Queen Elizabeth Memorial Committee. Trying to capture for future generations Her Majesty's extraordinary contribution to the life of our nation during her long reign will be a unique challenge.